I'm Brian College, and in my spare time, I fish Northwest UK waters in search of a double figure car. Spending hours on the bankside striving to get you the best fishing content. I'll bring you fishing with my family and with my friends and also with the mighty chat. Yeah, welcome to Aquatic College. Good morning, welcome to Aquatic College. My name is Bry, and today I am back with Chad on Moat House Fisheries and I'm fishing on Mallard Pool, I think it is. Chad? Good morning. Good morning. Is it Mallard we're on today? Mallard or a donut? You know, is it you're a donut? You're a donut, yeah. You're a donut? Yeah. Okay. Well, today I'm fishing on Chad's a donut. So, yeah, um, it's the second week, the second session of our competition. Um, we fished on Heron Pool last time, and I am 10 6 down. Um, so, yeah, it's hopefully today I catch a lot of fish. As you can probably tell, it is really windy. We normally fish on Heron Pool at the top, but it's too exposed. So, we've come down to um, Mallard today, which is called the donut because it's like a donut shape, um, and it's a bit more sheltered. It's not as big. There's some fish up to. There's probably some double, couple of doubles in there. I would have thought, but um, yeah, mainly um, smaller fish. So wish me luck, and uh, hopefully I don't blank like lagoon. I'll see you in a bit. So this is my peg and currently I'm fishing off this point here, I'll give that a go and then in the next I might try over in the margins, it's normally quite a good up against the wall and then if not then I'll try over there. This is where Chad's fishing over this side, that's his peg in under the tree and if not I'll try there, it's a little bit tight but I'll try up against there and hopefully here's probably the best I would have thought fish patrol down that side and then if not I'll try further down the reeds on the right hand side so hopefully catch a fish so if anybody remembers last time we fished we have Chad yeah. and then we have mini Chad and mini chad has had a makeover now so now he's got his little mini chad hoodie whereas chad hasn't got his red hoodie on today you, know what? you haven't got your red hoodie on today have you no but uh, one of you bought from lee jekyll and bait have you yeah oh so Stand there, yep, yeah. turn around. Show me. The one and only. Turn around then so I can see it. The one and only www.leetackle.com and the phone number is there 01942 604 125. So are you sponsored now then, Chad? Yeah. 
ball. No. No, it just with Carol going in holding them three chairs. Yeah. There, so she'd always take off just had these prints, she'd take out one of these over. Oh. You no, know, so she's ordered one for herself. Nice. Because we get all our stuff from there, you see, because I yeah. think it's a better job going there. Is it? Top oh, quality yeah. at low prices? Uh, oh, hi, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You're doing a sales pitch here, come on. Yeah. You're being recorded sales pitch for oh, the lead, okay. lead tackling. It's nice. And the floor quality is one of the best ones. Is it? Well, yeah. everyone check it out. Lee what? Tackle and Bait. Lee Tackle and Bait? Yeah, yeah let, well, everyone check it out. Everybody go to Lee Tackle and Bait because it's a cracking shop. Brilliant. And he, he does some good bargains as well. Yeah? Yeah. And he also, he also sponsor people that don't catch fish. Uh, oh, of course, yeah. Like yeah, me. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, uh, hang on. Oh, no. Okay. This is who? This is Little Brian. Little Brian? Little Brian. Right. Baby Brian. Uh huh. See? He's sponsored by Lee Tackle and Bait as well. He is? Yeah. Right. But he hasn't got a hoodie yet. Right. So I've got to get a hoodie for him. Right, uh, okay. Alright. Yeah. Alright, Mini Chad. He looks a bit girly. Oh, he's got blue on. Is that a fish? Yeah. Oh, he's in. He's in. Wow. Well, you have it live. This is what Lee Tackle and Bait are sponsoring. He's not bad neither. Goes over to live cam, let's rush across. Manic scenes here. Manic scenes at Mallard. He's in and ooh, nice swirl. Only at Lee Tackle and Bait. The bait's working already. He's got a nice carp. Nice one, Chad. <coughs> Thank you very much. One nil to the mighty Chad. Oh no, she's a little cap. Yeah. Sponsored by Lee Tackle and Bait. Top quality, low low prices. Well done, Chad. Thank you very much. Well, no bites so far on my rod. And it's now eight o'clock. Mr. Lee Tackle and Bait over there. Chad. He's got one. This is getting like deja vu. Just want my rod to go. Go, Rod. version of Mary Poppins <laughs> with Chad. Let me see him take off. Look at the hell. It's getting really windy. I probably turned inside out.
Chad's at it again. His second fish. It's another nice carp. It's looking ominous. Very nice. Yeah. There's more one again. So that's 12.6 to the mighty chat. Chad's in again. What was it this time, Chad? Another car. Let's have a bit. Let me just see what a fish looks like because I forgot. Doing the business that is. in that corner. Nice. Oh, I've people not angling it right. You reckon? Oh, it might be a heron. Well, it could be, yeah. Could be a heron. So that's 13 6. Four and a half hours gone, halfway. Not even had a bite. Nice daisies though. I wonder if Chad had like a daisy chain. Did it last competition where I claimed a roach? Ah, uh, what? No, I'm saying I claimed one last time. Then Clint. Chad's just caught a roach. So that makes it 14 6. Yep. You catch up. Well, it's back to Chad Cam. Oh, not bad and he's in again. Under that tree is working every time. You've got sponsorship from Lee Bait and Tackle, and I can't get any sp any sponsorship. Oh, very nice. It's bigger than what I thought. About four pounds. Very nice, that Chad. She's very really nice. Thank I'll you just very take. Much. Well, Chad's just had that really nice mirror carp, and I'm gonna. You what? I'm just videoing. Oh. Sorry. So, Chad's got that really nice mirror carp, uh, so I'm changing my rig. <laughs> I have a. 15 pound line down to a method feed it's a 24 gram um, I've got poloni mix on then I've also got some six mil pellets and normally I use a 12 pound hook link with a size 12 hook uh, and a size 8 pellet but this time I've gone down to a 7 pound hook link with size 14 hook and a 6 mil pellet so Chad seems to be catching them on six mils. So I thought I'll downsize and see if I can give it a go. So I've not caught a fish for five hours. 
um, three hours left. Chad's fishing under that tree there. And I've tried all around here. Nothing. I think there's only about a couple of inches deep. I've tried over there and nothing. So now I've got it right inside this whole bit here. So I'm hoping with it being shaded be a good spot. The wind's blowing down that direction so all the food sources should be going around this bit here. That's my thinking anyway. So I've tried it there. Hopefully I'll get a bite. The wind's died down. He says as it gets windy. So yeah it's looking really nice. Sun's getting out. Hopefully, it gets me a bite. I don't really want to blank again. Blank on lagoon after 12 hours. That was traumatic. Mini Chad has got me absolutely nothing, not one bite. So his hoodie's coming off because I've got a secret weapon underneath. I take off Mini Chad's hoodie. He's got a fish top on. Hey? It's the same one. He's got a fish jumper underneath. So this is my last resort. So I'm hoping now he's got a fish on him. I catch a fish. Wish me luck. Well, the last hour went by and guess what? No, still didn't get a bite. I think I'm gonna cry. In fact, I know what's coming up. I'm definitely gonna cry. Sorry. Right, today the rule is that if one wins a match, one has to do a dance. Whether it's him or it's me. So it's me what won today, so every my anyway, what do you call it, what's that word? Ren Renovate Ren I know every my dance I'll go to you today. You ready? Do a floss. I'm going to do a floss, ready? to where Chad's been fishing which is over in the cut in the tree over there.
just off the reeds there and there's a car coming up and when I was moving my gear my rod went by the time I realised struck fish was halfway around the corner um, and it's come off so yeah within two minutes of fishing on Chad's peg I had a run more than what I've had in eight eight hours nine hours lost track so yeah determined not to blank just miss one I'm hungry I'm gonna get something to eat I'm tired but I'm not gonna blank so I'll see you in a bit with a fish any fish even a skimmer Well, after missing those two early bites, my rod's gone dead for half an hour, and I was just starting to give up. And all of a sudden, this happened. Third time I finally got a mirror car. It's only about three pounds, but it saves a blank, thank God. So I think that's gonna be it for me. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Somebody who's watched my videos before, you'll know when I'm fishing I try and practice a bit of photography. This pied wagtail's been visiting all day and I've not got any decent shots yet. So I'll spend a little bit of time now while I'm packing up, see if I can get some decent photos. Well, just as I was packing my rods in, I've got this. I think it's called Chub. Only a couple of pounds. So that's two. So that was it. Chad's beating me 15-6, but Fish Monkey saved me from getting a blank. I'm just hoping over the next two sessions, I can make up the competition deficit. So as always, Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, if you want to leave any comments please do, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.